Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Windows 11 has just received its annual feature update, version 25H2. And while many are saying it's a minor release, it actually rolls in a ton of great features that have been gradually released throughout the year. We're talking AI upgrades, UI refinements, and some seriously practical improvements. So let's dive right into the definitive guide to what's new in Windows 11, version 25H2. One thing to note, so if you've updated to Windows 11 25H2 and you don't see the new start menu or other features, don't worry, your PC isn't broken. Microsoft actually does something called a controlled feature rollout. That means all the new features are already inside Windows, but they're not all switched on at once. They slowly turn them on for different groups of users to test stability and fix any bugs before everyone gets them. So, your friend might have the new start menu, while you'll get it a little later. It also depends on your region, account type, or even your hardware. Like if you've got NPU support for AI features. Basically, same version number, but slightly different experience depending on who gets the feature switch first. If you can't wait, power users can manually turn them on with tools like Vive Tool. And but remember, those features might still be in testing. First up, we have AI Actions directly in File Explorer. Now, when you right-click an image, you'll see a new AI Actions menu. From here, you can quickly blur the background, remove objects, or erase the background completely by launching the Photos app. For those with a Microsoft 365 subscription, you'll find a Summarize option for documents stored in OneDrive and SharePoint, letting you get the gist of a file without even opening it. Microsoft has also been busy polishing the Windows 11 user interface with a number of refinements that improve everyday usability. The Start menu has been tweaked for a cleaner, more efficient layout. The default Pinned section now shows more apps and the All Apps list is no longer hidden behind an extra click. It's right there in the scrolling menu. This gives you faster access to everything you need. The sidebar for Phone Link slash Mobile Integration is improved. The new layout allows access to messages, calls, photos, app updates, etc. If you go to Settings, Apps, Actions, you'll see a new section that's designed to manage apps that add special AI actions. Things like right-clicking on a photo to remove the background, summarize a document, or translate text. Basically, it's where Windows will show all apps that can plug into the new AI-powered context menu system. Now, if yours looks empty, that's totally normal right now. Microsoft is still slowly rolling this feature out, and most apps don't support Actions yet. So, until apps like Photos, Copilot, or Clipchamp get updated to register their AI tools, you won't see anything listed there. In short, the page is ready, but the features and app updates are still catching up. It's coming, just not fully live for everyone yet. Like mine is empty, that was just a picture. So here's a cool change in Windows 11 25, H2. The old For Developers page in Settings is gone. But don't worry, it hasn't been removed. It's just been redesigned and moved. You'll now find it under Settings, System, and then Advanced. Microsoft basically renamed it to Advanced because they're expanding it beyond just developer tools. Before that page only had stuff like developer mode, device portal, and file explorer options for devs. But now it's being turned into a one-stop hub for all advanced system tweaks. Things like terminal settings, taskbar behaviors, virtual workspace controls, and even file explorer developer options. So it's not just for coders anymore, it's for anyone who wants more control over how Windows works behind the scenes. By default, Windows only shows hours and minutes on the taskbar. But now there's a new option that lets you show seconds in the clock inside the Notification Center pop-up. It's turned off by default to save a bit of system performance, especially on laptops, but you can easily enable it in Settings, Time and Language, Date and Time. Once it's on, you'll see the full time, hours, minutes, and seconds, right inside the Notification Center flyout. It's a small change, but super useful if you like precise timing, 
or just want your clock to match the one on your phone. The big news is that Microsoft has finally replaced the old, uncustomizable Weather and More app with a brand new, fully customizable lock screen widget experience. This gives you much more control over what information you see before you log in. To set it up, you just need to head over to Settings, then Personalization, and click on Lock Screen. You'll see a new section called Widgets that you can toggle on. Once enabled, you can manage your widgets right there on the Lock Screen page. You can choose from a variety of widgets, including weather, stock market prices, traffic, and sports scores. You can also remove any you don't want to see. Unfortunately, it is not yet rolled out on my system. If you go into Settings, Privacy, and Security in Windows 11 25 H2, you'll see a new option called Text and Image Generation. This is a brand new AI privacy control. It basically lets you decide whether apps can use Windows built-in AI to generate text or images. Things like rewriting content, summarizing text, or creating pictures inside apps like Paint, Photos, or Copilot. It's turned on by default, but if you don't want apps using AI generation features, you can switch it off right there. So yeah, it's Microsoft giving you more control over how AI runs on your PC. Taking another step towards a passwordless future, Windows 11 now supports third-party passkey providers like 1Password. This lets you use your favorite password manager to sign in with Windows Hello, offering both convenience and enhanced security. Another neat tweak in Windows 11 25 H2 is the improved dark mode. Microsoft has polished it so that more system apps, menus, and flyouts now fully respect dark mode. Before, some areas like certain context menus or parts of File Explorer would still show light backgrounds even when dark mode was on. Now, with 25 H2, dark mode feels much more consistent across the whole OS, from settings to File Explorer to system dialogs. It's a subtle change, but it makes the interface easier on the eyes and gives a cleaner, more professional look. Let's talk about a super common task, sharing files. The share dialog in File Explorer just got a major quality of life update. It's smarter, faster, and way more integrated. The new dialog now pulls in more of your installed apps directly so you can share to your favorite messaging or social apps with fewer clicks. No more digging through a long list. It also makes nearby sharing even better, letting you see and share to nearby devices more reliably. Plus, for OneDrive files, it gives you a quick copy link option and an easy way to manage sharing permissions. Not yet on my system, but the pinning feature in the share dialog box is yet another example of how Windows 11 25 H2 focuses on refining existing features to make the entire operating system feel more polished, consistent, and personally optimized for you. IT professionals and developers haven't been left out. This update includes some powerful new controls for managing fleets of Windows devices. Admins can now use group policy to remove certain pre-installed Microsoft Store apps like Teams or Clipchamp. This makes setting up new devices way easier. You get a cleaner, more controlled environment right out of the box, no extra apps getting in the way. Perfect for schools or workplaces that want streamlined computers. If you go to Settings, System, Notifications, you'll see a new option called Position of On-Screen Indicators. This lets you move hardware indicators like, like volume, brightness, airplane mode, and more to different spots on your screen. So instead of always popping up in the center, you can put them at the top, bottom, or wherever works best for you. It's a small change, but it makes those little pop-ups way less distracting while you're working or gaming. Here's a lifesaver for anyone who's ever had a PC fail to boot. Windows 11 25. H2 introduces quick machine recovery. Basically, if your PC keeps failing to start, it will now automatically reach out to the cloud to find a fix and try to repair itself. That means less downtime, less frustration, and you can get back to work or gaming faster without having to dig through recovery tools yourself. It's like having a safety net built right into Windows. 
Microsoft has combined all the old search-related settings that used to be split between search permissions and search windows into one single page. Now you can manage everything, like indexing, permissions, and search history, in one convenient spot. It's cleaner, simpler, and makes tweaking search settings way easier for everyone. Microsoft has combined all the old search-related settings that used to be split between search permissions and search windows into one single page. Now you can manage everything, like indexing, permissions, and search history, in one convenient spot. It's cleaner, simpler, and makes tweaking search settings way easier for everyone. Here's a cool little tweak for customizing your taskbar in Windows 11.25 H2. If you go to Settings, Personalization, Taskbar, Taskbar Behaviors, you'll now see a new option called Show Smaller Taskbar Buttons. This lets you make your taskbar icons smaller, and you can choose when it applies. Always, never, or only when the taskbar gets full. It's perfect if you want a cleaner look or need more space for lots of apps without changing your display scaling. Small change, but super handy. It's super. If you go to Settings, Personalization, Text Input, you can now remap the physical Copilot key on your keyboard. By default, it opens the Copilot app, but with the new custom option, you can make it launch Search, another Microsoft Store app, or even a different action of your choice. It's a small feature, but it gives you way more control over your keyboard shortcuts and how you access Windows AI tools. There's now a Frequently Asked Questions section that gives quick answers about your hardware and system configuration, like CPU, RAM, storage, and more. It's super convenient if you just want to check your specs or troubleshoot without digging through multiple menus. Small change, but definitely a time saver. Here's a nice accessibility upgrade in Windows 11.25, H2, the mouse and mouse pointer and touch page under settings. Accessibility is getting more features that used to live only in the old control panel. For example, you can now customize your pointer image right from settings, changing the look of your mouse icons without digging into legacy menus. It's part of Microsoft's push to make all these controls more modern, accessible, and easier to find. Small tweak, but super handy for personalization and accessibility. If you go to Settings, System, Display, HDR, you'll now see new HDR management options. On supported PCs, you can stream HDR video even if HDR is turned off and you can also enable Dolby Vision independently of HDR. This gives you way more control over how your display handles color and brightness, making movies, games, and videos look even better without having to mess with system-wide HDR settings. It is not yet showing here, but a new security layer called Administrator Protection has been added. When an unsigned or untrusted application requests elevation, you'll see a clear, prominent authorization prompt, protecting you from potentially harmful software. If you are on Wi-Fi, here's a big one for enterprise users in Windows 11.25. H2, Wi-Fi 7 support. So first off, what is Wi-Fi 7? It's the next generation Wi-Fi standard after Wi-Fi 6 and 6E, offering faster speeds, lower latency, and better reliability for multiple devices at the same time. Think ultra-fast connections for offices, schools, or smart buildings. With 25H2, Windows 11 now supports enterprise-grade Wi-Fi 7 access points, meaning organizations with compatible hardware can get blazing fast wireless throughput and modern networking features, which is perfect for big networks with lots of users or heavy data usage. Basically, it's a huge upgrade for businesses that want faster, smoother, and more reliable Wi-Fi. Quick heads up, it's not all new stuff in Windows 11.25 H2. One thing that's being removed is the old PowerShell 2.0 engine. If you've got scripts or tools that rely on it, they won't work after the upgrade. 
Microsoft is cleaning up legacy components to make Windows leaner and more secure, so it's a small but important change to be aware of before updating. Also, the legacy WMIC tool is also removed in the upgrade. Because many features are incremental, the update might feel a minor to casual users. To wrap up, 25H2 brings a mix of user interface polish, AI integrations, better security features, and enterprise tools. While the core hasn't changed drastically, the refinements and new capabilities push Windows 11 further toward a modern, secure, and intelligent platform. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and share this with anyone upgrading to 25H2. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.